Mira, mira, mírame, mírame. ¿Cuándo te hablo? ¿Cuándo te hablo? Mírame. ¿Cuándo te hablo, por favor? Okay, so here's what we're gonna scan here. We'll just do a um, VDI on it. Just some coins on the beach. You can see how rough they are, you know, and then you got your, um, just regular clad. I don't think it's gonna be a difference of VDI, but it could, you know, these might read a little bit different. They have a little extra um, corrosion on them. That's a 50 cent piece right there. Uh, we'll, we'll scan a, let's see. We'll scan a gold ring. Actually, that's my first 2023 gold right there. Scan that, it's a small one, like a kid's ring. Um, copper, silver. I think that is stainless right here. Tungsten, um, junk, other tungsten ring. We'll scan a bottle cap from the beach, a nail, aluminum nail, toy car, fool's tab, um, a round washer, steel washer. What else we got? The fishing weight, I, I, I lit right here. An eye hook or eyelet, whatever you want to call it, battery, and some car keys. Ferris, non ferris target. See how the machine reacts. Anyways, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to be in a Beach General. Let's check it out. Um, discrimination. There's your quick mask on off. So, let me take my watch off, actually. Let's check out the silver ring from the beach. That's silver. Let's check out the VDI on it. Just like a zinc penny. 85, 86. Check out this uh, copper ring right here. Probably it was silver plated at one time. Let's check it out. 1560. That's weird. Not sure why it rings that well. Um, then we have this gold ring here. We'll check this out. It's got a little diamonds. I never tested it. That's my first 2023 gold. Let's check it out. 1516. So it's like, dig a gold or dig a copper, copper ring. Both the same VDI. Strange, huh? I better dig them both. <laughs> yes, 15, 16 the gold. Okay. Then we have a, looks like a tungsten ring. 17, a stainless, so stainless reads up a little bit higher, that's strange, it's a stainless still ring, yeah, that's weird, probably the size, um, there's a nice chunky tungsten carbide reading right there, 60. Oops, dropped it. 69. 58. Looks like it's locking on 58. Alright, cool. Um, I think at some point in time this might have been. A bracelet, I believe.
Let's check it out. I gotta hold it right on the coil. I mean, I am air testing it's low sensitivity because of EMI. But it is uh, a broken circuit. Now let's see what happens if I touch the metal together. Kind of uh, make a better connection. See the difference? Touching, not touching. That's the basics of metal detecting. 101, right there. <clears throat> Copper ring, chunker. 65. Okay, let's check out a toy car. Dime, dime. Nickel. Uh, just a crappy looking zinc penny. So the IDs are like way different than this. A wider variety of ID. There's another crappy sink. Okay. Let's see if this um, shiny quarter gives a different VDI from the beach. Oh, the same. I thought there would have been a variance. There's a dime. <clears throat> Nickel. Copper penny from the beach. Seventy nine eighty. There's a fifty cent piece right here. Let's check it out. Fishing weight, fishing craft. Fifty two, right? Right in that area. Um, check out a battery. Take those on the beach. And you want to pay attention to the target trace, right? I'm scanning it like this way. Right Let's do it the other way. Almost like a nail, huh? What happens if I discriminate it out? I mean, I still have to get my discrimination up. So it still is going to ID it, but it just spreads it out a little bit longer. Interesting. Okay, fools tab for all you fools out there.
here's a round washer. Um, not rusty at all. So, let's see what it sounds like. So he's building the target. Oh, that's a bobby pin. Let's try out a bobby pin. See, even though it came in the same VDI range, it identified this as iron. So you probably have to mess with your ferrous limits, you know. Within the range. I'll listen to the same VDI, but just. It's definitely called an iron. Um, here is a. Kind of like a. This is definitely from the pier, just a bent nail. Aluminum. This is aluminum, so. Let me try it the other way. Okay, just a junk target, but still good to get off the beach. Um, here's that big rusty eyelet. Check that out. So we saw that VDI earlier. Wait, what was coming in as a 56? Was it a ring? <clears throat> I thought I saw that. Was it the stainless ring? Sixty sixty one. Okay. See the direction I'm holding it, and now let's go long ways. Okay. It's hitting off of this round area. It's a complete circuit. But when I change direction, so, you know, this could be in the sand. It could be buried like flat, or it could be here. So it just all, it all depends what direction you hit it from. I mean, that's part of metal detecting. You're gonna, um, it's not always coins and jewelry all the time. And here's a rusty bottle cap. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's throw it in front of the coil this way. Look at the target trace. Pay attention to that. It's not a tight, like a coin, like a coin here. You see that? How tight the pattern is there? This one's all over the place. Let's turn our discrimination on. Let's just turn the discrimination on for this too. See what it sounds like. Okay, let's do it the other way. It almost tries to, it almost tries to discriminate it out, but it's looking for a round target. <clears throat> I don't know, I probably would just dig it. And then this is just a big old mess right here for uh, metal detecting. That's just got a bunch of crap on it. Uh, let's check it out.
What does it sound like? Let me do it with it all together. There. Okay, let's discriminate. It's dragging it out. I'm already getting machine dirty here. Okay. And just for fun, let's scam one of these. We're always digging these up on the beach too. I mean, I could do a, a million different targets, but I just want to put a little video out on this today. Okay. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, well, that's gonna conclude our video here. We just went over, you know, like the basics of what we're gonna uh, be digging up at the beach, parks. Um, I definitely need to read the manual and um, try to understand what's going on here. But definitely it was a, a the display is, is really nice. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll try to get more videos out on this machine. I just definitely need to get it unboxed and kind of um, get a couple VDI on targets and take a look at everything, all the features. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I missed, but you know what? That's pretty much the basics of, of the machine, what I can show you today and go from there. Talk to you later, and then um, if you like the video, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.